All right, everyone, it's the beginning of the end. Angela Merkel has officially resigned as the leader of the Christian Democratic Union as the nationalist populist alternative for Germany storms the Hesse elections. That's what we'll be talking about on today's video. Folks, it just keeps getting better and better. Now, first, we have Brazil electing the nationalist populist Jair Bolsonaro as their new president in a landslide election. And now we have Angela Merkel officially resigning as a CDU leader after a party was humiliated in the elections held in the central German state of Hesse. And folks, all in one day, okay? It's just amazing. Let's break this down, what happened in Hesse and their regional elections the other day. Merkel's Christian Democratic Union fell to around 27% support, which is their worst election since 1966, if you can believe it. They dropped 11 points since their last election in Hesse back in 2013. What made matters even worse was her coalition partners in Berlin, the Social Democrats, they tanked as well to barely 20% of the vote. In fact, they tied with the resurgent Green Party for second place. In fact, the Hesse elections were the Social Democrats' worst performance since 1946, and there's already speculation that the Social Democrats may in fact withdraw from Merkel's coalition, since Merkel right now is political poison. So both the CDU and the Social Democrats have experienced a political freefall of late. And if they do decide to break uh, their coalition, uh, that would in fact be the end of Merkel. You'd have to have fresh elections and all trends show that it would be a disaster for the CDU. Now, as part of all of this, the Nationalist Populist Alternative for Germany Party ran their first campaign ever in Hesse. And as a result, they won an astonishing 13% of the vote. Keep in mind, this is the first time the AFD has ever run a campaign in Hesse. And just like they did in Berlin in the national elections, uh, most recently in Bavaria, they garnered 13% of the vote. The AFD are officially now represented in all of Germany's 16 states, and they did it in a matter of literally months it's an incredibly stunning political achievement. This is something that normally takes new political parties decades to accomplish, and the AFD accomplished it literally in a matter of months. Absolutely astonishing. Now, this, of course, is the third political blow in a row for Merkel. The second was the recent election in Bavaria. Uh, earlier this month, where the Christian Social Union, which is Angela Merkel's coalition partner in Berlin, along with the Social Democrats, they suffered their worst electoral defeat in over 60 years. They fell to just barely 35% of the vote. Keep in mind, in their last election just a few years back, they secured nearly 50% of the vote, 48%. To be exact, just a few decades back, they were getting over 60% of the vote. So the Christian Social Union has by far been one of the most stable political parties in Germany's post-World War II uh, politics. All of that ended just a few weeks back, and the vast majority of their lost vote share crossed over to the AFD, the alternative for Germany. Again, the AFD had never run a Bavarian election before. Uh, this was their first time, and they received over 11% of the vote. Just an extraordinary showing for a first-time party with no track record. And along with that, there was an alliance of conservative lawmakers known as the Free Voters. They ran as well, and they received nearly 12% of the vote. So we saw about 23 to 25% of the Bavarian vote moving away from the CSU, Merkel's alliance partner, to more alternative right political parties. And then, of course, the first blow for Merkel, the one that started it all, was the general election back in September of last year, where Merkel and her CDU party ended up losing over a million voters to the AFD in one of the CDU's worst electoral turnouts since 1949. They barely got 30 percent of the vote, all of which went to the AFD, which ran for the first time ever and got 13 percent of the vote, siphoning off a significant percentage of voters away from the Christian Democrats. Uh, things got even worse for Merkel's coalition partners, again, the center-left Social Democrats. They barely got 20% of the vote, which was their worst performance since World War II. So now the combination of the general election, the Bavarian election, and the Hesse election has forced Merkel to announce 
that she will step down as leader of the CDU and that she will not seek re-election as chancellor in the next national election. Now, many have frankly been whispering that Merkel would not even win if she stood up for re-election as party leader at their conference uh, in, um, in December. So her stepping down is in many ways just an attempt to stave off what would be the potential of a ridiculous political embarrassment. Keep in mind, Merkel has already suffered a stunning political defeat of late within her own party. Just a few weeks back, her choice for parliamentary leader was soundly defeated in a vote by her own party. To give you a sense of just how significant that was for Merkel, this is the first time in 40 years that a chancellor had his or her pick for parliamentary leader defeated. 40 years. Folks, this is Angela Merkel, the, the heralded great leader of Europe. And to make matters even worse, her pick for leader of the Bundestag was defeated by a relatively unknown newcomer who wanted to move the center-right toward a more conservative direction, away from the leftism that's marked Angela Merkel's administration. And this defeat for Merkel was so significant that you had papers that are otherwise quite supportive of Merkel saying that this was indeed marking the end of an era. She, she's been called since then a lame duck whose days in power are now officially numbered. And this is because keep in mind too that this political defeat followed a near total disaster that was averted back in June when Merkel's own interior minister, who's the chairman of the Christian Social Union in Bavaria, he demanded strict limitations be placed on refugee admittance, which would turn a significant number of refugees away from the border, and which would replace Merkel's policy of more or less open borders with very strong border security. Now, Merkel had two choices in terms of dealing with this rebellious interior minister. Either she could be humiliated and basically show how weak she is and capitulate to the interior minister's demands, or she could fire him and face a Bavarian revolt and see her governing coalition collapse. And so if you recall, they had this emergency European summit over the summer where she begged leaders of other nations to take the refugees in. And even now, it's still a bit unclear what precisely she got out of it. But the interior minister dropped his demands, but then only to see the far-left German party known as Die Linke, or simply the left, turn around and declare that it was going to make border enforcement and anti-immigration a central plank in its political platform. So Merkel's been completely outflanked by both the political left and political right. And so it didn't take a genius to figure out that her political days were numbered. Well, now it is official. Angela Merkel has resigned as the head of her party, which is really just the beginning of the end. Uh, I've said it here before, uh, I don't think Merkel is going to make it to the end of her term in 2021. I think if these trends continue, I think that the support for the AFD on the right and the Greens on the left is going to be so significant. Both the CDU and the Social Democrats are going to have to distance themselves more and more from her. The most likely scenario, at least it seems to me, is that the Social Democrats are going to officially withdraw from the coalition to try to save what little political clout they have uh, left. And uh, with their withdrawal, the German Bundestag will end up in a hung parliament, which would require fresh uh, elections. So, of course, we'll see how things play out. But there you are. Two great events took place this past Sunday. We saw the election of the nationalist populist Jair Bolsonaro to Brazil. And we saw the nationalist right AFD storm the Hesse elections in Germany with Angela Merkel announcing her resignation as party head. Not a bad turn of events in just 24 hours. <laughs> as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Click on our Patreon link below and become a monthly supporter of this channel where you get exclusive access to even more videos and podcasts and help us to continue to analyze current events in light of awesome conservative trends so that you can personally and professionally flourish. God bless.